Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. This is another paid request, this time for Bronson. Thank you so much for that. For those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And Bronson wanted me to react to this short video, 2 minutes and 33 seconds. Now, I know people get mad that I don't show the video, but the reason I get so paranoid about it is because YouTube has screwed me over a lot of times where I've showed footage even though it should be perfectly fine but then one week one month five months later something pops up and like nope videos gone or blocked or whatever and I'm like oh my god so that's why I just do my reaction and then if you want to follow along I'll put the link to the video in the info box and you do on your computer another tab another window and you follow along with me but anyway for anyone who wants to request any type of videos paypal is usually the best bet or join my patreon those links will also be in the info box either down there or over there where it may be but um, i did see this video circulating it's one of those like someone did some very clever editing to make it seem like Chris Rock and Will Smith talk to each other. I guess done by editing and whatever technology they used. Um, I did see bits and pieces of this. I do remember being clever. <clears throat> but I watched the whole thing. And then comment on the whole Chris Rock, Will Smith thing afterward. Just because it's, it's, it's a short video. So I'll talk a little bit about it after it. So I'm pausing at the beginning. Three, two, one, pressing play. <laughs> I'm guessing this is from uh if the look hurt is coming, some people want to duck. And then Chris Ross reaction. Will Smith's natural reaction is this. Time is like an athletic thing. <laughs> I like the awkwardness. That why was that funny? Funny is funny is funny. <laughs> that was basically bad that it cuts the Chris Rock like getting nervous about it. It's very well edited. Yeah, no, you have no control over it. Absolutely not. <laughs> it's just that awkward wider shot. <laughs> Will Smith going. I hate. I wonder what interview this is from Will Smith that he got these portions from that Will Smith says I hate being famous and then Chris Ross like how do you hate being in show biz business it's the best job you do what you need to do It's so well edited. It does make it seem like they're in the same room with this pitch black. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to think like what was that one God, I wish I could remember that interviewer. Let me see. I want to see if I could figure out 
who that is done. Anyway, while I'm searching that, Number one, the, the video I thought was a, that was a very well edited video. I thought that, it really didn't make it seem like they were in the same room together. And like, not only that, but what they said related to what the other was saying. And like the certain pauses to make it seem a bit more awkward of a conversation. I thought that was really well done. I thought that was rather fun. I'm trying to see if... Actually, maybe... One second. Uh, yeah, I know I'm being particular on this, but sorry for the pauses. Yeah, Charlie Rose. Sorry about that. It took a while. Yeah, I think Charlie Rose. This is probably when Charlie Rose talked with these guys. Because Charlie Rose, I remember he interviews people and there's always that backdrop, that black void. If I put Charlie Rose, Will Smith... Let me see, was that the same one? Yeah, it is. Will Smith job interview on Charlie Rose 2002 by Clifford Morris. He has the same suit with the same blue tie and blue stuff up here. Uh, I'm guessing that was for Ali. He was being interviewed, Ali. Yeah, it was, because I see the clips for Ali, and I think Chris Rock, his is on here too, I don't know what he was advertising at the time, so yeah, these are, yeah, the guy did a really good job, let me double check with uh, Chris Rock, okay, I think he flipped it, yeah, Chris Rock on Charlie Rose, four years ago, Remembrance of Things Past, And it might be, maybe he's not advertising something specific, but it's just an interview, sit down. Yeah, he's wearing the same thing, only he f they flipped the image. So yeah, Chris Rock on Charlie Rose, and then Will Smith, 2001, 2002 with Charlie Rose when he's advertising uh, Ali. Just like that black void, I remember... Like, wait, I remember a guy interviewing people. So it was Charlie Rose. So they took the guy took two separate interviews of these guys did with Charlie Rose and put them as if they're talking to each other. It's a very clever stuff. Sorry for all that. I did. It was just me investing on. Yeah, this is familiar. Okay. The guy might have said all that at the bottom of the video, and I <laughs> should just look down. But, uh, oh well. Now you see how my two brain cells work with each other. Like I said, it's a fun edit. I thought it was pretty entertaining, especially the idea with the, the pauses and the, just the way it's edited to make it really seem like they're having an actual conversation and what they're saying actually pertains to what the other is reacting to and how the dialogue actually pertains to what this person said, like a response. 
it, it takes time because you gotta go through the interviews and take the clip and go, okay, let me take that clip what he said and that clip what he said. And did he say something? Okay, I could link those two together. And As for the Chris Rock, Will Smith, I talked about this a long time ago when it happened. I'm on Chris Rock's side. I'm not on Will Smith's side. Can I watch Will Smith's movies in the past? Of course. I still like Bad Boys 1 and 2 and Men in Black and Enemy of the State. and I still think he did a good job in films like Ali, among other stuff. Yes. Does that I mean, I, Bright, I still enjoy that film. Does that mean I'm curious about stuff he does in the future? Like, I didn't see Bad Boys 4. Unless it's a paid request, uh, I don't really care to see the film. And the stuff he does afterward, whether it be I Am Legend 2 or whatever the case may be, do I really care about that? No. Uh, because I did lose respect for the guy. I did kind of make me see him in a different way. Like He's not as much of a man as I thought he was. Chris Rock made a joke, and he made a harmless joke. Probably the most harmless joke you can make. Hey, Jada Pinkett, can't wait for G.I. Jane 2. You can make that joke on me, because I'm bald. Can't wait for G.I. Jane 2. So, I, wouldn't go, I would not go up and slap Chris Rock because of that. He goes, oh, you dickhead. Okay, fine, but come on now. It was definitely an overreaction. And to do it on that time and that day on the stage, it's like, you could, come on now. <clears throat> and people know why it happened. All the st stuff going on with his woman, which they were, you find out they were separated for a while and I don't know if they're really married or what the whole deal is with whatever the hell the deal is with those two. And then Jada's like pretty much like T's want to reiterate in not so subtle ways that she wanted to be more with Tupac Shakur than Will, Will Smith. And she's cheating on people and with men her kid's age. And... He doesn't want to handle it with her, and then she's talking about how, didn't she say like he's bad in bed and on her table talk, coffee table talk book, whatever the hell that show she had, pretty much belittling what Will Smith is in bed. I swear that happened. I'm like, what the hell's going on? And then trying to put a camera in his face when he doesn't want to talk and trying to get him on her show, bad marriage for life. Like, as, as if that's a good thing. It's like, it's kind of hard to feel sorry for somebody who keeps digging his own grave. You know what I mean? And then, Chris Rock, which is hypocritical because Will Smith did the same joke. He was on, what, Arsenio Hall? As a, hey, dude, and he made fun of a guy who was bald. Could that guy go up and smack the hell out of Will Smith in the face and not be arrested and get away with it perfectly fine and dandy? Imagine that happening. Bet Will Smith wouldn't have liked that. You hypocritical ass. So I... And I remember seeing the interview not too long ago of Chris Rock's brother. You know, people going, well, you know, will you let it go since, you know, he apologized. And it's like, he didn't apologize to my brother. Oh, he did that video for the public. But he didn't really, he didn't call my brother and apologize to him. And that's the thing. It's like, well, I'll do it in public so that. People think I'm a nice guy again. 
But I'm like, no, I. You're too much of a simp. You're too much of letting someone else walk over you, belittle you, make you a fool. And yes, granted, he didn't kill anybody. He didn't do, you know, you know what I mean? It's not like he didn't hurt. Well, he did hurt, but he didn't like kill anybody or assault or do stuff with kids or anything. So it's nothing like that. To be fair. So it's not like this deep hatred or anything. It's just more like, eh, I can't buy the guy as a tough guy. That's hard to buy as a tough guy when Jada Pinkett is really the one who wears the pants in the family and wears her whatever boyfriend's pants she has of her, her son's age. Keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Okay, keep your... How about your wife keep your son's friend's dick out of her mouth? Wipe the taste of jizz out of her mouth each time you kiss her. Her, her, her potato head. But anyway, so... You know, Chris Rock, he, at the time, didn't really, he handled it as well as anyone could or would. He left. He didn't really talk about it. It's not like he whined on Twitter every other day, five times a week. He's like, well, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait, I'm going to wait. I did a show. Some people thought it should have been a lot better. Some people liked what he said, some people say, oh, really, that's it? But he did say it, and there you go. So, but anyway, Will Smith, more like Will Simp. And for a while, he'll be thought of as Will Simp, at least in my eyes. So, yes, that. It's not that I hate you, Will. It's just I'm I'm pretty disappointed. <laughs> That's kind of the, my thoughts on it. So with that said, thanks for watching. Take care, and we'll see you guys later. Bye bye for now.